And this week's home zone, I cut to the chase about cutting a hole in your roof. Why would you want to do that? Adding a vent for one. I recently had to do that when putting in a radon system to vent the gas out. But this time of year when it's raining or snowing and you're getting rained on like little mini scoop jays happening over there, going up on the roof, that's just no fun. So that is where this system comes in, putting an event without ever going up on top of the roof. You may have seen the video where I put in this sump pump battery backup in the basement. In that same lid, there was a bigger radon pipe that went up into the attic. Going up in the attic, ugh, I hate attics. Ugh, they're hot and sweaty. And gross. To pump that radon gas out, I still had to cut a hole in the roof, which was very steep. Traditionally, most of that work is done from the outside. But I found a system where you can do everything from the inside of the attic where it's safe and takes less time. Underside, that's where the little pipe fits through. This is called a cozy collar. It is a heavy duty rubber vent that allows a PVC pipe to go up through it. First, Figure out where to cut the rectangular hole in your roof. It should be right above the radon fan pipe. The collar comes with instructions to spell it out. The collar also comes with a very important template to mark the soon to be rectangular hole on the underside of the roof. If there are any roofing nails poking through near the template and in the way, saw them off. I chose to then drill out the four corners made by the template. This allows you to easily get a sawzall blade into the holes to cut out the rectangle. Here's where you need to be precise. Follow the instructions and do not cut the hole too big or too small. Basically, cut on the line that you drew. I found cutting just barely outside the line was best. Here's where you're about to put the cozy collar through the roof. That's where my hand is. But before you do that, screw in the provided bolts. I did it on the kitchen counter because it's easier. From there, Put the included sealant in the cozy collar's channel. It makes it watertight. Then put the boot through the rectangular roof hole at an angle to get it outside. Don't drop it. Turn it so it's facing the correct way and so the posts come back through, then lower it down. Then put on the two metal plates onto the bolts and tighten them down by hand with the provided nuts. This is what cinches the collar to the roof. The directions say to just tighten it up to start to bend the two metal pieces, which is really only about one full turn with a wrench. You're basically done. Just slide the pipe up through the vent. Then connect it in the attic to the rest of your radon system or whatever you're trying to vent out. And in case you're wondering if the actual radon fan worked that I put in, all right, here's the moment of truth, plugging it in because they operate 24 seven. So I put this outlet in, coming off that light, should immediately turn on or blow up. It's working. Yeah, it didn't blow up. For more on my home zone segments and to see this one again, just visit fox59.com and search for home zone under this morning's news tab. And in case you're wondering, and I know you were, Alyssa, uh, in this situation, that cozy collar, how much does it cost? Mm. It's about $120, which is several times more expensive than going outside and putting all that stuff on yourself. But if you're having somebody do it for you, it's probably about the same cost. Ooh.